killing me, Snarls. She's a monster. You can he made a deal with the devil. She's the devil. Doesn't work if you constantly demonize each other. And I mean that literally, by the way. There, I, I, was, I was reading the other day, there, there's a, a guy on the radio who apparently Trump's on his show frequently. He said, me and Hillary are demons. Hey, how are you? <laughs> I want to thank- Christian God is the one and only true living God. The creator of heaven and the universe. Suggesting. You, you are absolutely right that John McCain has not uh, talked about my Muslim faith, and you're absolutely right that that has not Christian come uh, my, my Christian faith. And, well, what I'm saying is that he hasn't suggested that I'm, right. that I'm, that I'm uh, a Muslim. I agree. Simply smell like sulfur. Ain't that something? complete destruction from within everybody who's in you know let's call him the lord of the flies is uh the lord of the flies uh administration is the world of evil spirits and true biblical deliverance the evil spirits that come out always have seriously a smell of sulfur and it's fascinating or a smell of feces let's just be blunt so what i find is fascinating that the in in so many instances of of bohemian grove you told what the people do all this stuff, it's all centered around, it's centered around that which basics. Global elite, besides being Luciferians, besides being some of the most uh, horrific entities on earth. When I use the word entity, by the way, Alex, I mean something that's not human, okay? I want to make that clear. Or someone who has submitted their humanity to total demon possession. Why do you think Obama, Obama always has little flies landing on him? <laughs> well, I, can I tell you something? Michelle Obama, and you should have your guys look this up was talking about uh, his odor, okay? Now, I'll tell you why. Beelzebub in the New Testament means Lord of the Flies, okay? Lord of the Flies. So Beelzebub is another name for who? Satan. <laughs> Venomous snake. Yeah, well, according to WikiLeaks, uh, and we tried to we tried to unverify this to, to make it, you know, something that, like, I would write from a satirical standpoint. It looks like Podesta uh, penned an email and uh, WikiLeaks uh, unearthed it, where he was talking about Hillary post her head injury, that she was acting like a retard, that's his quote, and he said, frankly, considering her normal behavior, I'm surprised, surprised anyone noticed, this is a joke, he said. Someone, uh, have someone talk to a doctor, see if there's anything he can give her. Also, I've noticed that she has an odor lately. It reminds me of a combination of boiled cabbage, oh, wow. urine, and farts. She just Ew. told Glamour magazine that her two girls get into bed with her in the morning, but insist on kicking her husband, Barack Obama, out of that bed. The hero running for president, of course, because, quote, he snores and he stinks. She <laughs> smelled that bad? She really did, Alex. She really, truly did. And I'm not just being tacky. Uh, call me Margaret Mead in Samoa. I had never seen or smelled any woman like that, ever. Shed for my Secret Service horses, they, and I also talked to people in protective detail from the Pentagon. They said, we don't know what's going on, but Hillary smells like a dead pig. Mm -hmm. And I talked about it, and they said I was completely insane. I said she smells like a demon, and that Obama stinks to high heaven. Well, well, I don't know what a dead pig smells like. I, I do. Well, the point is they smell like hell. But but it's funny. But I don't know if you're right about it in the book. But wow, that's crazy. I mean, you're bringing up how bad she smelled. I'm just telling you, uh, people are telling me she smells. So what's she smell like? Just I don't know. I'd never smelled anything like that before. I mean, her hair was dirty and greasy, and her dress was stained. So I assume it was something on her, or in her. Or she hadn't bathed. I, I listen. I, I've I, had I was in two Blackwater people, an army colonel, t Secret Service, just say. We're scared of her. She blows up and screams half the time, fits, falls down angry, I mean, like a two-year-old, and smells like 
And I go, what? They go, it's the worst smell you've ever smelled. And I'm, it's just, you didn't even know this, and here you are bringing it up. No, because it was the first, one of the first things that I noticed. And who could not notice someone who smelled that bad, especially when they were going to get in my car with cloth seats? That's what I tell listeners. I'm not going to make this up if we're not getting these sources. So, so. Well, ask anyone in Arkansas who met her back then. You don't, don't take my word for it. Love you all.